Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today I have a Costco haul to share with you. I actually haven't been to Costco in about three months. The <laughs> last time I was there was uh, beginning of March and so I've been out of a lot of my Costco staples for a while uh, but Adam and I had a date night tonight and so what else did we do except make a stop at Costco so tonight we spent $488 uh, I did not get too many groceries just because we live about 45 minutes away from where our Costco is and after we went there we went out to eat and so I did bring a cooler with a small ice pack but I just didn't have a lot of room for cold stuff so there's not a lot of groceries in this haul, but there are a little bit and then some other household items So let me get this all set out and I'll show you what I got All right, so here's a look at everything that we got. I have it spread out on the island here in no particular order uh, So they did have these laundry baskets on sale for I think they were $15.99 for two and I've had a lot of our laundry baskets for years and years probably uh, 15 or more years now and there's a couple that I need to get rid of and so when I saw these I thought well That's a good price for two of them. So I went ahead and grabbed those uh, We also got this rolling chair mat um, Adam is in the process of setting up an office down in the basement and we're working on um, Getting that finished down there and so eventually once we get carpet put in he'll need this for his desk chair I believe this was $27.99 and it's actually a lot nicer than some of like the clear plastic ones you see with the spiky things on the back. I don't know. I just think it looks a lot nicer so we don't need that right away but we went ahead and picked it up since it was there and it was a good price. Um, I also got some plastic silverware. I had been running low on this and this is something I always like to keep on hand especially going into summer if we have people over um, I typically like to use plastic silverware and I also take some to work um, to use um, when I eat my lunches and breakfast there I grabbed some toilet paper and paper towels I normally get the Charmin uh, ultra soft and the bounty paper towels but they did not have that in stock today I was also looking for Clorox wipes because I cannot find them anywhere and they had uh, absolutely none so this is fine we've I've gotten this before every once in a while the Kirkland toilet paper and then I actually do like the Kirkland paper towels um, sometimes I will get these depending on whether these or the bounty is cheaper but since that's all they had I went ahead and got both of those um, for food I did get some of these beef and lamb gyro slices I went ahead and opened it just so you could see what the package was like inside it comes in two individually wrapped packages and it looks like you can freeze them if you're not going to use them right away these don't expire until um, July middle of July I think and I don't know that I've ever actually made this um, since the kids have been around but it seems like something that they would like they probably aren't going to eat it with feta cheese or like tzatziki sauce or anything like that but they might eat it with a pita and some veggies on this side so I grabbed that just for something different and then they have this Panera mac and cheese which if you've never had Panera's mac and cheese it's delicious and I've never seen this there before at my Costco. This comes in four um, single serve cups. And I want to say this was like $7.99 or maybe $6.99. It was pretty cheap. So less than $2 a cup. Um, this is not the healthiest stuff, but I just got one package just because this is something that will make good lunches. I don't think that the kids really like this. Um, I don't know that Adam will eat it either, but I will definitely eat it. I grabbed some of these Grillo's pickles. If you've never seen these before and you see and you find them in your grocery store, get them. They are super good. These are the dill chips and they have these in our high V. I see them every once in a while and I um, sometimes don't pick them up because they're super expensive. I don't know why they're so expensive, probably because they're just a specialty item, but these were pretty reasonable. I want to say this was like $6 or something like that, which I agree is a little bit pricey for pickles, but this will last a while. So I grabbed those. Um, this was a newer item or it's something that I guess I really haven't seen at my Costco. These are the cheese and uncured bacon egg bites. Um, these look exactly 
like the ones from Starbucks and I do really like those so hopefully these are good let me know if you've tried these and if you like them I've tried the brand from Aldi before and I actually don't like them at all they're not very good um, so I kind of took a gamble on this but it was $11.99 for four packs of two so grab those for breakfast and then I always like to get the all beef um, Kirkland hot dogs if you are not going to eat these all at once you can actually cut these apart and freeze them which is normally what I do um, but these actually go out to when the 23rd of July I guess I don't know that we'll get them all eaten before then maybe um, but either way these are really good hot dogs and they are a really reasonable price for um, this large of a package okay I also grabbed some turkey lunch meat we were almost out of lunch meat and this will definitely last us more than a week but I've bought this many times before and it's really good the Columbus deli meats this is the herb roasted turkey breast so I grabbed that to have for sandwiches and then the last food item I guess besides some drinks that we got was this thick sliced um, center cut bacon uh, I didn't see the normal Kirkland bacon that I normally get there which is like I think in a large package of like four pounds of bacon and it's a pretty reasonable price I can't remember exactly how much this one is I think it was eleven ninety nine for um, what three pounds of bacon so not terrible especially for thick cut bacon I'll probably keep one of these out and then put one in the freezer for later use uh, I also got some finish um, dish drying rinse aid uh, if you have a Bosch dishwasher this is helpful in um, keeping the spots off your dishes and making sure that it dries the best it can and so a lot of times if I don't go to Costco I'll buy the um, great value brand at Walmart which is just as good but since I was at Costco and they have it for a good price I went ahead and got that they also had the Cascade complete dishwasher tabs for four dollars off and so I went ahead and grabbed these I go back and forth between this and the finish I think I prefer the finish brand better um, but when this is on sale I go ahead and, and grab this I also grabbed some tissue so this is a 12 carton pack of the Kirkland facial tissue sometimes I like to get these smaller boxes just because they don't take up as much space on the counter um, so I grabbed a package of those and then I also needed more Ziploc bags I was out of my quart bags and I've been liking to use these more and more for different veggies and stuff to store in the fridge and then sauces in the freezer so these will take me quite a while to go through there's four packages in there so 216 total and then I also got a big package of the gallon freezer bags um, I wasn't quite running low on these yet but I don't make it to Costco all that often so every time I go I pick up a couple boxes of those the downy um, scent beads were also on sale and this is something I always usually also pick up when I go to Costco just because I like to use this pretty much with every load of laundry and this is a much better price than you can get in like the regular grocery store or Walmart so I grabbed that and then I got a huge package of paper plates this will last us quite a while um, I've been buying paper plates at Aldi which I actually like their paper plates and they're less expensive than you can get them for at Walmart um, but these are my favorite the Dixie ones and so I typically just like take off a stack and put them in the cupboard and then I'll put the rest um, in the pantry so it'll take us a while to go through all of those um, I also got some kitchen trash bags I really like the 13 gallon um, kitchen trash bags from Costco and since I only go there once every like two to three months I do usually pick up a box of these every time I go there we actually ran out <laughs> between the last time I was there and now and I had to buy like regular hefty bags or something like that at Walmart um, so at least when I run out of those I'll have the Costco kind back and then um, Adam has been collecting some whiskeys that he hasn't tried for his wet bar down in the basement so they actually had quite a selection at Costco but these are the two that he picked out that he hasn't had before um, this is the Elijah Craig small batch uh, Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey and this is basil hayden's kentucky bourbon whiskey so those were the two that he got i think this one was i don't know maybe like 25 dollars, and this one was 35 dollars, i think and then i was looking for shorts for connor like some more athletic shorts but they were all 
gone. Um, but I did find these Adidas shirts for him for this summer. So this just comes with a white one and a blue one. And I want to say this was like $12.99. They have really reasonable prices on kids' clothes if you can find what you need. And then I also grabbed this skort for myself. I actually saw uh, my friend Tiffany from Simple Wife, Simple Life. She, I believe, grabbed one of these. I don't remember if it was this pattern or not at Costco, and she said she really liked it. So um, I haven't tried this on yet, but I just got an extra, extra, extra large. That's normally the size I wear, so I'm sure it will fit. Um, but I like that it has the shorts underneath, and it's definitely something you can wear with like sneakers and a t-shirt um, and it's casual but it still looks a little bit dressier than just wearing shorts so hopefully that fits well um, for drinks we got a huge pack uh, or 24 pack of the monster uh, zero so this comes with three different flavors i guess red zero and blue i don't know what the difference is um, but usually when I go, I'll either get some kind of like sugar-free Monster or sugar-free Red Bull for Adam. Uh, but this is what he picked out this time. And then I was all out of sparkling water. And I always try to keep some type of sparkling water on hand for myself, whether that's LaCroix or AHA or something like that. And this is a 24-pack. It has um, hibiscus limoncello and the watermelon flavor so i've actually had the hibiscus and the watermelon which are both very good the hibiscus is really good i think i actually picked that up at aldi last month and i really liked it i actually took one can out of the limoncello and i'm drinking it now and it's delicious it actually really tastes like limoncello um, without the sugar and alcohol obviously but if you find this and you like Lacroix, i would definitely pick it up it's very inexpensive i want to say it's like 6.99 for the 24 pack uh, Adam picked out some of the sparkling ice drinks. So this is a, uh, what is it, 18 pack, I think it is, of three flavors. So there's strawberry lemonade, berry lemonade, and classic lemonade. This is another thing that you can get for a great price at Costco if you can find it at yours. It's definitely cheaper than getting it at Walmart. Uh, we got Murphy, a package of the pedigree dentist sticks there were a few different brands of dental chews there um, this is the one that we went with just because it was cheaper per treat he gets one of these every day and then last i got a box of the starbucks pike place that is my favorite kind of k-cups um, i really like the starbucks brand and they seem to work the best in my keurig and so this comes with 72 so we won't run out of those for a while so that is everything that we got at Costco this evening. All right, so that is going to wrap it up for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.